We'll turn to this now. Did you know that Utah is home to hundreds of hidden glaciers? Well, scientists are studying them to figure out if climate change is putting them in danger and to understand just how much of an impact they have on the state's water supply. ABC 4's Kate Gardner has the details. They're called rock glaciers. They're covered in rock and dust, making them look like part of the mountainside. You may have even stood on one at one time without knowing it. Now, this feature also insulates them from the sun, preventing them from melting even after the snowpack is long gone. Even after the last snowpack melts and reservoir levels drop, mountain streams flow. One of the sources of this water, there's a lot of ice locked up in Utah's mountains, could be hidden beneath your feet. There are over 800 rock glaciers in the state of Utah. And most people have probably been around one, but they don't realize that they were there. Um, there are rock glaciers in a number of the local ski areas, like Snowbird Ski Area has a big rock glacier. In the Beehive State, roughly 95% of water comes from snowpack. That 95% figure, some portion of that is coming from rock glaciers, and it just hasn't been accounted for yet. Little is known about these glaciers, so the Utah Geological Survey is working with scientists like Scott Hotelling to study them. We live in a really dry state, and so any amount of water is really important to our well-being. The blue dots on this map show all the rock glaciers in the state. In the Wasatch Range, the average area of these glaciers is about 74 acres. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but how deep the ice goes, how thick it is, that's one of the kind of standing questions. That's what they're trying to figure out. They now know that in some areas, the glaciers can produce up to 40% of runoff during the summer. Twin Lakes Reservoir that is outside of Brighton, that reservoir, the number one inflow to that in the summer is a rock glacier. That's because rock glaciers are covered by meters worth of rock and debris, keeping them insulated. Hotelling says they believe the glaciers may be less susceptible to climate change. So during years of little to no snowpack, the glaciers could provide some relief. Understanding their you know, long-term trajectory and how they influence the landscape and how they might buffer the landscape against significant change is a really exciting thing so it's a place where someone like me gets to tell a more optimistic story for a change. That was all good information but it's just the tip of the iceberg so to say. So if you want to learn more about what scientists are doing to understand the true role that these glaciers may be having on Utah's water supply, Scott Hotelling actually has a YouTube page. You can follow this link at the top of your screen to learn more directly from him. Reporting from Salt Lake City, Kate Garner, ABC4 News.